So I wanted to use this opportunity to do a quick rundown of the prompt list that I have for this entire process. Um, I split it into four weeks, that's 28 days. September of course has 30 days, so there's actually two extra days on week four, but I'll get into that in a moment. So I'm going to lift this camera up so you can see it a little bit better. Week one I have marked as the Happy Little Trees week. That's because it follows the Bob Ross style of I try and put stuff on paper and whatever ends up on the paper is how I work. So that's very similar to how Bob Ross works when he's doing painting in that he kind of has an idea of what he wants to do but then he'll just kind of like do a little line and say well if that's where it lands and that's where the branch is because it's not like he's trying to make an exact replica of an existing tree or anything. So this is my happy little trees work. That said I do need to have prompts. So the prompts are one is just anything that happens to land on the paper, which is what I did. Two, I've written distaff because it's a, a TV tropes thing. The distaff counterpart is you attempt to make um, the gendered opposite of what you did the first time around. So since the first one ended up looking like, uh, well, kind of like my dad actually, the second picture um, I wanted to look essentially like the female version of that face, which uh, looked a bit like me in the end, which kind of makes sense. <laughs> so then following on from the happy little trees thing as well as just you know putting things together that happen to work nicely together I also want to be able to try and replicate images because part of the goal of this is to become a famous cartoonist or maybe even just be able to draw a single four panel comic and have the character look the same in every panel so you're not getting confused um, so for each consecutive pair of days, um, first we do the three-quarter version of the face that was done in day one and two, and then you do the profile version of the faces from day one and two, so I should end up with six, pa six pictures of the same th two characters, um, ending with what I call Fave and Improve, which is I pick my favourite one from these and I try and do an improved version of it. Or maybe I'll pick my least favourite of those and try and make it not my least favourite anymore by doing a, a redraw of it. Week two is photos week, that is working from a photographic uh, basis, so using an actual picture, so it has to look like an actual person. Um, for that I've picked out the seven most interesting things that I think would be to draw. I wanted a movie star and a music star, so I've picked Mark Ruffalo for the first one, because I think he's got the most interesting face in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, followed by Matt Berry, who's my favourite musician and also a fantastic actor in uh, what we do in the shadows and other things. Um, for day three I realised that of course I've got two, um, two men there so I wanted to get two women for the next ones. For day three I thought Nicole Byer, because again television presenter, she has a very interesting face, very expressive face, I want to try and get some more of that but that's not properly until week three as you'll see in a moment. Uh, number four you might not have heard of, that's uh, a magician called Lucy Darling, it's a stage name. Um, I want to do her because she has really interesting hair. She wears wears a lot of interesting wigs. Um, so I want to try and capture that. And also wears, mm, I wouldn't say a lot of makeup, but a fair amount of makeup. So it, it's a chance to try and replicate that in a pen and ink drawing. I say pen and ink, it's a sharpie. Let's not beat around the bush there. Um, then I've got five and six. I want to do a magician friend, but because it's going to be someone that I know, I kind of feel like I ought to ask them first if I can draw them. And hopefully, by, if I've managed to keep it up that far, I'm hoping I'll have gained a few people who are following me doing this on Twitter, and I'm going to ask them if they would like to be the subject of day six, week two. So hopefully that could be you. That might actually be you on that day. Who knows? Um, and I'm going to end it with a self-portrait, because, yeah, examining myself and insulting myself is exactly what I need for this. I didn't do much of this today, actually, as you'll see if you watch through the video that I'm posting today. Um, ordinarily, what I would do is insult the person that I'm drawing. Obviously, I can't do that from when I'm working from a photographic reference, but it's because I'm just insulting the drawing itself. So that's going to be fun for me to pick out my own flaws and try and tell if they're flaws in the drawing or flaws in my actual face. Week three... I want to get expressive images, that is to say, faces showing expression. I just realised I'm holding a pencil, I don't need to hold a pencil. That is, faces showing expressions, and I've not necessarily picked uh, positive or negative expressions, although I will eventually have to be able to, you know, hone in on those. 
but I figured one with bad teeth because I've drawn a lot of closed mouths, one with an actually an open mouth so you can see all the way inside it and stuff. I want to do one with closed eyes because I tend to draw the eyes first and so without that anchoring point it might be interesting. And then I thought crying is a good one to go for because you can have tears of joy, tears of sadness. Um, someone eating, I know eating isn't an expression but it does make the face move in odd ways and I thought that might be fun to try and capture. Uh, day six is confused because that could look like anything so that that's going to be fun to see if I can get that across and again I'm hoping that by that point I have followers and I'm going to take a request for what the last day should be and finally week four the controversial week um, I'm going to try and copy the styles and or characters of some of my favorite artists if I end up selling any of these as prints or I mean let's face it they're terrible no one's going to want them but if I become famous for something else like you know if I've lose a leg in a hilarious accident and suddenly people care about my art then these are the ones I won't be able to sell because these are going to be the plagiaristic ones um, those are the names of cartoonists uh, in case you haven't heard of them uh, the first one Rachel Smith did a recent popular um, online thing called Quarantine Comics I believe that's coming out in book form soon if not already out um, also did a fantastic book called Wired Up Wrong and a sequel called Stand In Your Power get them they're great Shannon Wheeler um, Apparently does like uh, newspaper cartoons as well, but I didn't know about that because uh, I know Shannon Wheeler as the artist behind Too Much Coffee Man, uh, which has characters with very large faces, very small heads. Uh, that's hard to describe, but essentially the, the the face fills most of the head. It's it's definitely a look. I wanted to get some manga, but rather than just saying manga, I thought I'd go for a specific manga artist, Rumiko Takahashi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. That's the uh, artist behind uh, things like Ranma and uh, what am I saying? I only know Ranma, really. I know there are other things as well. I believe one of them was called Rumik World because Rumiko. Anyway, uh, Jim Davis, of course, Garfield. I want to try and draw me some John. Um, Aaron Williams is the artist behind uh, Nodwick, which is a and d, d style comic, but also the artist behind a comic that I really liked uh, back when I was in university called PS238, sort of superhero school, way before Disney did it, uh, with Sky High. Then uh, day six is Molly Ostertag. Molly Ostertag is the artist behind um, The Witch Boy and... The one over there. I can't remember the titles of these things. I know it's over there and I can't see it. The Hidden Witch. And I believe that there's a third one now, but I haven't read it yet. Um, and the the last one on there is uh, Cassandra Kalin, or Carlin, I don't know how it's pronounced, who has a fantastic style because it she is able to go back and forth between these really rather sort of nicely hyper real images, like like really nicely shaded, really um, I don't want to say photo real because they're, they're, they're black and white pen and ink drawings but that they have a sort of a, 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 a quality to the light is, is the only thing I can say it, you get a, like particularly the hair she draws really good hair and it has this this almost real quality to it which I want to try and capture but then she can also go from that to very stylized characters and she does these comparison things which is like, you know, what other girls look like when they've straightened their hair versus what I look like. And so one of them will look absolutely gorgeous and the other one is this, this very sort of um, stylized image. Which is what I want to try and capture, either of those. Because I'm going to go for the beautiful one and I might end up with the slightly strung out looking one. <laughs> and then days eight and nine um, are going to be my faves. Um, I've written it as cartoon. But it's actually going to be for anything, any two images which I really like, I'm going to try and redraw and improve. And that's that's my prompt for September. Because I'm going to draw a bunch of Burks. They're not all Burks. They're, these people aren't Burks. These people are great. I mean, except me. I'm a Burke, obviously. And who knows, maybe I'll get a, a magician friend who's a Burke. Um, but, yeah. I, re I realise now that in hindsight, I picked the wrong name for this month. I should have just done, like... Ink timber or or sh sharpie timber because I'm drawing them all with a sharpie. But I might change pens. You see, I've ordered a new pen, um, a nicer pen. Hopefully, it might be worse. Who knows? Uh, but if it, until it arrives, I have to keep using my sharpie and a pencil. <sighs> yeah.
So uh, watch this space, I guess.